Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Today's idiom is all at once, all at once. And it's a very popular idiom which simply means suddenly. So you're lying in bed and all at once you hear a noise and you wake up. You can also use it to refer to a number of things which are happening simultaneously. The music was playing, the party started, and then the dog was barking all at once. So you can use it to talk about one thing or about many things. But to be honest with you, most people here simply use it as a synonym of the word suddenly. Now, there's a couple of songs here I want to tell you about. Uh, The first one is Whitney Houston. Now, she had a song, of course, called All At Once. It's very funny because when Whitney Houston started appearing in the 1980s on TV, uh, I was a teenager and my parents felt it was inappropriate for me to be watching a black woman who was associated with drugs because she was known for her drug intake. So they changed the TV channel and forced me to watch The Cosby Show instead. But, well, we all know what happened to Bill Cosby, so I'm not sure that was much better, to be honest with you. Um, But I did like her song all at once. Uh, In this song, her lyrics are quite straightforward. Uh, The song is called All at Once by Whitney Houston, and she says, All at once, I finally took a moment. Oh, she's very polite, isn't she? She says, All at once, I finally took a moment, and I'm realizing that you're not coming back. And it finally hit me all at once. It sounds like it may have taken her some time to realize this. And then she says, all at once, I started counting teardrops. Well, nice. And then she says, and at least a million fell. My eyes began to swell. When something swells on your body, it means it gets bigger. You should be very worried if you have, for example, a lump on your body. If it gets bigger, that's called swelling. Swelling. So she says here, uh, my eyes began to swell. And they would, because when you cry, especially a lot, your eyes swell. And then she says, and all my dreams were shattered all at once. So dreams being shattered, of course, means that her dreams of the future were suddenly broken. Uh, So let me just read those again. Uh, All at once, I finally took a moment, and I'm realizing that you're not coming back, and it finally hit me all at once. And then she says, all at once, I started counting teardrops. You know teardrops, that's the tears that fall from your eyes. And at least a million fell, my eyes began to swell, and all my dreams were shattered all at once. And then she goes on, and she doesn't end there. I mean, she does loads of verses, so uh, we'll just do a few more. Um, Ones with difficult phrases. She says, all at once, I'm drifting on a lonely sea, wishing you'd come back to me, and that's all that matters now all at once. Yeah, she really needs to get with the program, doesn't she? And move on, I think, because she's obviously um, reminiscing, looking back to her lost love here. Uh, And then she says, um, let me see. All at once, the smile that used to greet me To greet is just to say hello or to meet someone at the door. The smile that used to greet me 
brighten someone else's day, she took your smile away and left me with just memories all at once. Oh, nice song, isn't it? But Whitney clearly isn't getting over this, is she? Um, yeah, and she repeats that many more times about this drifting on a lonely sea. Uh, but her lyrics are actually very easy. So there's not much else for me to say about that song, um, except that uh, the title is All at Once, and she's using it here as a complete synonym of Suddenly, you know? So there's another song with more difficult lyrics with All at Once I'm going to share with you, and I think it's probably better because you'll, you'll learn more from it, I think. So let me just get the lyrics of that. Right, so this song is called I Think I Love You, and it's by David Cassidy. And uh, he, of course, was in the Patridge family, which was uh, a very entertaining musical family, which had their own TV show. And uh, they were a successful singing group in the 60s. And David Cassidy was in the Patridge family. They sang this song, and then he had a big hit with it in the 70s, I believe. It's called I Think I Love You. Very nice song. Very nice song. I like uh, David Cassidy. So he says, um, I'm sleeping, and right in the middle of a good dream, like all at once I wake up, from something that keeps knocking at my brain. Now, the word like here is the same way as we use the word like in the UK. Uh, I'm sure you know that some people put like in every part of the conversation. I was like walking in the street yesterday and it was like cold. And I said to my friend, like, should we go home? And he was kind of like undecided. Uh, this is something which we do a lot. We just add in the word like for no apparent reason. And David, in his song here, he's done the same thing. He says, I'm sleeping and right in the middle of a good dream, like all at once I wake up from something that keeps knocking at my brain. Now, of course, um, uh, all at once is the phrase we're looking for here. And again, it's a complete synonym of suddenly. Okay. So he could have said, suddenly I wake up, but he didn't because he's helping us with English. And he says, like all at once I wake up from something that keeps knocking at my brain. So that means he's having a thought that just isn't going away. It's poof, poof, poof. Well, he was a teenager as we all were once. And uh, obviously, he was infatuated with his love. And then he says, before I go insane, I hold my pillow to my head and spring up in my bed. Some people say spring out of bed in the morning. You know, a spring is a tight coil that's wrapped together that jumps if you set it free. It's a very tightly wound bit of wire. And then he says, well, he says, and spring up in my bed, screaming out the words I dread. I think I love you. Ah, uh, yeah, the teenage years. I suppose we were all like that once. Um, and then he tells us, this morning, I woke up with this feeling I didn't know how to deal with. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, I think we've all had a few of those. And so I just decided to myself, I'd hide it to myself and never talk about it. And didn't I go and shout it when you walked into my room? I think I love you. Yeah, but very good uh, song. I like David Cassidy. He came to a tragic end, didn't he? He really had major issues with alcoholism and stuff. And of course, like all these child actors, I think it was just because he couldn't cope with fame. Very sad, very sad. I saw him uh, 
on TV shortly before he died. And uh, I think uh, it was known that he was losing the battle. Uh, so then he tells us, I think I love you. So what am I so afraid of? I'm afraid that I'm not sure of a love there is no cure for. His lyrics are quite straightforward here, aren't they? And then he says, I think I love you. Isn't that what life is made of? Yeah, I can see where he's going with this. When we say something is made of this, it means it's the main essence. If you think to Eurythmics with the song they had, Sweet dreams are made of this. It explains what the essence is, what's in sweet dreams. And David and the Partridge family here are telling us, isn't that what life is made of, made up of, of love? And then he says, though it worries me to say that I've never felt this way. And then he goes on to say, I don't know what I'm up against. Okay, so to be up against something is um, when you're fighting against something. So imagine you're in a war, you're up against your opponent. In a sports match, you're up against whoever it is you're fighting. I'm up against. And then he says, I don't know what it's all about. I've got so much to think about. Hey, I think I love you. A nice song. It's a nice song. Um, Yeah, you'll find the video for the Patridge family singing this, and you'll see David Cassidy singing it alone. Some of you might be old enough to remember David Cassidy. He was like a teenage... a teenage heartthrob, you know, in his uh, teenage years. I think everyone loved him. He was a bit like Donny Osmond, you know, he had the classic good looks. And of course, he was an American and a singer. Yeah, everyone loved him. And uh, he was he was just nice, you know. I think his brother was very famous as well. I don't remember. But his mother in the Partridge Family TV show is his real life stepmother, Shirley Jones. And I think I heard she died recently as well. Um, uh, yeah, a stepmother means the adopted mother. Well, I like Shirley Jones and the Partridge family. They were all very good. They were kind of like the Brady Bunch, but they could sing, if you know what I mean. And there was no sign of the father. I think he had died or had left early. So it was a woman raising children alone, which... Um, in the 1960s was a little bit taboo so it it kind of crossed boundaries so there we are we started talking about Whitney and she was saying all at once her life was falling apart one day good the next day all at once everything was bad because she suddenly realized that uh, somebody wasn't coming back and then we have David Cassidy who was telling us that uh, all at once he woke up uh, let me just read his lyrics again so he says this morning I woke up with this feeling I didn't know how to deal with and so I just decided to myself I'd hide it to myself and never talk about it and didn't I go and shout it so he's he's saying that uh, uh, he didn't want to do it but didn't he just do this? He just went and shouted it. So if he said, I didn't go and shout it, it would mean that he didn't do it. But because he's inverted it to, didn't I go and shout it? He's saying, didn't I just do the wrong thing? You know, I just went and shouted it. Didn't I just go and shout it? You know, it's like saying, you know, yesterday I didn't want to tell my mother that I crashed my car and I walked into the room and didn't I just go and say it? I didn't mean to. That's the kind of thing that he's saying there, okay? And uh, just to recap on all at once, he says, I'm sleeping and right in the middle of a good dream, like all at once I wake up 
from something that keeps knocking at my brain. Before I go insane, I hold my pillow to my head and spring up in my bed, screaming out the words, I dread, I think I love you. I wonder why he dreads those words. Strange, isn't it? Maybe he didn't want to be in love. Well, he's a teenager, but we've all felt like that, haven't we? At some point in our lives, I think uh, we know exactly what that feeling is like. You know, you're innocently lying in bed because teenagers don't have a lot to worry about with regards to security. They worry more about their feelings and how they look, don't they? So, uh, yeah, innocent times there. So there we are. That's that's uh, the Partridge family and David Cassidy. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, it's freezing here, really, really cold. So if you are going out today and it's cold where you are, uh, please take great care. That's it from me today. See you soon. Bye.